When you buy your clicks, they're all set up as COM port 1. In order to change the address, this is what you do. Make sure your click is plugged in, powered up, put in the run mode. Go to, over to function, double click COM port 3. This is for RS-45 communication using Modbus. Select the address you want. I'm going to make this uh, address 3. And this tells, and we're doing Modbus port 3. Um, this is the Modbus uh, mod node address that we want. So I'm going to tell this machine now to be at COM port 3. Then I'm going to do PLC, write data into PLC. Make sure I'm going to click address, uh, I believe, COM port. I have to tell it the address that's in there now. It's address now, right now, 1. You have to first tell it which address you're in, so, and don't click this. And now it's going to send to PLC. Now it's going to write, um, using COM port 1, it's going to write the new project into my old COM port 1, causing it to be, um, causing it to be COM port 3, or node 3. Pause it. Transfer complete. Now the question is, are we really on COM port 3? Right now we're on COM port 1 and it's trying to change it from stop to run. So the remedy is PLC, I'm going to say cancel, cancel, PLC disconnect, and I'm going to reconnect on COM port 3. PLC connect, not COM port 3, I keep using the wrong word, 2, 3, this one, click address. They use different names for the same thing. Now we should be on 3. Now I'm going to disconnect from the PLC, because it did look like it disconnect. Now I'm going to hook up another program. This is a Modbus poll thing here, file save. And I'm going to run on slave address 3. And I should be able to read now slave address 3. And I could turn on and off coils, which they are working. So that works. There you go. That's how to do it.